Well, welcome to Thoughts on Thinking. I'll bet you not too many of you out there went to five high schools in four years, but I did. Uh, you didn't accumulate a lot of friends uh, at each high school, except there at the last one at Crenshaw Gap, uh, I, I, I was established pretty good in there, and uh, I, I spent, you know, the most of the whole year and a half uh, at the Cranfield Gap High School, so I uh, got to do pretty good there, and I really liked Cranfield Gap. It's all Norwegians. <laughs> we'll get to that later. But anyway, uh, I started uh, there... Uh, at uh, New Home, we lived in Petty. My dad had a hundred to sixty acres of dry land farm, and I just got to going there about six months or so. I don't remember how long, but it was long. And my dad sold that hundred and sixty acres, and he bought eighty acres of irrigated land right there in the edge of Lubbock. It's about three miles from the, the Texas Tech campus, right on the right off the highway. I can imagine how many millions that uh, 80 acres would be worth today. But <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, he uh, when he sold that, he decided he was going to go to California and work for minimum wage and get rich. <laughs> uh, and uh, so uh, uh, the next, uh, while we was there uh, with the Wolford, uh, the little town of Warford, her name, uh, and the school was Friendship. Well, I just kind of got started uh, working out on a good football team, and uh, that's when we took off, and uh, we went to uh, California. And, uh, my next school was National City, California, but we moved to uh, uh, 333 Third Avenue in Chula Vista, and that's my mother there standing on the front porch of our house at 333 3rd Avenue. Well, I kind of looked it up uh, uh, the other day, and uh, there is 333 3rd Avenue, right in the middle of downtown Chula Vista. Man, I'll tell you what, that lot there would be worth some kind of money today. <laughs> well, we're talking about money, Will. I'm talking about high school. Uh, we can't go there. <laughs> and uh, I started uh, uh, school there at National City High School in uh, National City. And I went one semester, about part of one semester, I guess, that was left over from uh, when we moved out there. And so uh, I wasn't too uh, enthused about it. National City uh, was a big high school. And... Uh, I was used to those little bitty high schools with maybe four or five hundred people in the whole high school. <laughs> uh, uh, well, like New Hope, maybe they, they did lucky to have fifty. And so, anyway, uh, I wasn't too happy with the uh, National City School uh, because it's too big and too scary for this old country boy. And uh, there's my mom and her next door neighbor. Uh, chewing the fat out in their front yard there on, at 3330, uh, 333 3rd Avenue in Chula Vista. And <clears throat> that's me and my dad. We were standing there beside the house when that picture was made. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> looks like I was wearing my pants pretty high. Was, uh, there's, a, there's a high culture out there, I guess, to, uh, teaching me uh, how to how to dress better. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, there's, right here is 333 3rd Avenue. At our house, we could see across the bay there and into the uh, Pacific Ocean. And my dad uh, worked out there on, uh, here at the Cardona Islands uh, at the Naval Yard. And uh, I don't know really what he did, but he said he'd just clean spark plugs all day. And he wasn't real happy about his little job there, uh, being a free enterprise kind of guy that he was, had always been. But anyway, I had uh, uh, 
uh, one of those Eagle motor scooters, uh, Cushman Eagles, and uh, I had to run about 40 or 50 miles an hour, and I got, went all over. I went from uh, Tijuana all the way to the other side of National City, uh, and up to La Jolla and all those places on that thing, and they just come, uh, and I, you know, <laughs> You, you wouldn't turn your uh, 14, 12, 13, uh, 13 year old kid off on that, something like that uh, back uh, then. But I, I was driving a tractor when I was six, so that wasn't no big deal to me and running up and down the road on that uh, little motorcycle there. And uh, there is, uh, uh, we was down on the beach there at uh, uh, where we went grunion hunting. And uh, I don't know whether you know what grunions are, but uh, they're little old fish about uh, the size of a pencil. And they wash up in their season, mating season, and they stand on their tail. Uh, uh, a wave, one wave washes them in, they stand on their tail, and they lay their eggs or whatever. And uh, then on the next wave, they're washed back out to sea. So. Uh, what one of the big sports was at that season, and I really had fun on this, was grunion hunting. I thought I thought it was kind of like snipe hunting when they told me we was gonna go grunion hunting. <laughs> you know, I've been I didn't bit my snipe hunting when I was uh, pretty young, but anyway, uh, it was a lot of fun running up and down that beach, uh, just grabbing up those little. Uh, grunions and throw them in a bucket uh, while between the waves washing in and out. And then we had uh, built a big old campfire out there on the beach and uh, uh, that we cooked those grunions and uh, we ate those grunions we just hunted and uh, uh, I don't know how they cooked them uh, but I, I, I was dragging up uh, old washed up uh, stumps and stuff is there on the beach to build that uh, bonfire off that they was cooking them things with. <laughs> and my, I got a, I got me a job uh, uh, harvesting uh, flower seeds. And I uh, uh, was going to earn more money than my dad uh, <laughs> harvesting those uh, flower seeds. I think that this is going to pay me like a quarter an hour or something. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but uh, it wasn't all that much. And uh, I got enamored with this pretty little Oriental girl uh, on there, and I started paying more attention to her and uh, watching her and uh, interrupting her flower seed. And uh, uh, the boss man saw what was going on, and... Uh, I think I was fired on my second day. Well, it wasn't the firing that really got to me. It was the fact that I had to go home and tell my dad I got fired. That's the only time in my life I got fired, and I was so ashamed. Uh, but uh, anyway, I had to tell my dad. And uh, the Chula Vista High School uh, purchased a... Uh, 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 a, a, a naval base, a, a training camp out on the, between uh, Chula Vista and uh, Tijuana, uh, and uh, it's about halfway. We wasn't too far from the Mexico border, uh, and so uh, I was the first one among the first students at Chula Vista High School, and I was a. Uh, one of the first football players on the Chula Vista High School football team. And so I had a lot of firsts there at Chula Vista, particularly in high school. We were the fighting Spartans, Chula Vista Spartans. And uh, anyway, uh, we moved. Uh, my dad didn't last too long on that uh, <coughs> cleaning spark plug, so... He sold, he sold that, and then he bought this place at Cranswell Gap. And here's Cranswell Gap High School, and uh, this right here is a high school, and this one over here is an elementary school. So you can see Cranswell Gap wasn't all that big. We called it a poking plum town. You know, it's like uh, you poke your head out the car window, and you're already plumbed through town. <laughs> uh, 
But anyway, we made uh, uh, made that f football team. And I was a pretty good football player, I guess, back then. And uh, uh, I uh, had a lot of fun playing the football. We, we, we were the uh, uh, district champs that year. And uh, uh, we, we uh, uh, were in the Norwegian community where about half of the parents of those students, uh, the, their dads and moms still spoke Norwegian. And they, and they, they said, I talk like a Yankee. If you can imagine me talking like a Yankee, but I just moved from California, so I was a big, big city stud, talking like a Yankee there, and uh, but I I did pretty good. I I uh, uh, was really quick uh, back then, and I could uh, on a defensive guard play right over the center. And about three or four times in a game, I could grab that ball between the time he snapped it and before he got it up into the uh, quarterback's hands. So I stole the ball a whole lot in those uh, games. And I guess I did well enough that I got a, a football and an art scholarship at uh, Clifton Junior College. To total scholarship, all everything paid. And uh, uh, I... Uh, I, I just went on into that, but it, also we had uh, all of those guys that played football, we played basketball too, and I wasn't too great at basketball. I still tried to tackle everybody instead, <laughs> instead of passing the ball, <laughs> but but anyway, we, we didn't do, we wasn't all that great at basketball, uh, but we did pretty good. I, I didn't get to play a whole lot because I'd foul out. <laughs> and and uh, we we uh, uh, was a classmate uh, in the yearbook. They had me nailed and then uh, 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 nailed down here uh, as uh, the sweethearts. And uh, we did get along real well. We we just had a lot of fun together. And there we are. We are standing in front of school, and uh, we we were good buddies, but we weren't. We weren't the sweethearts, but everybody called us sweethearts because we was we was, we was buddies. And uh, this little girl here, Pearl Knutson, she was just as pretty as a bug. She was real bashful, and uh, I guess I was high, high rolling uh, big city boy, and uh, in the in the group, and uh, she was kind of an outsider, I guess, and wanted to be in the group. But for some reason, she decided that she would like for me to take her out to a movie or something. Well, I thought that was pretty good. I caught out, hey, I'd never been on no date before. And uh, I was really uh, impressed that uh, I was uh, stud enough that that little lady would ask me to take her out. So I went, I run, I couldn't hold, wait till I got home. I told my dad, I said, I need to borrow your truck. And uh, he said, what do you need a truck for? And I said, well, i got to take this little girl, uh, Miss Pearl, uh, out uh, to a movie. And he said, well, you ain't getting my truck. He said, if you're old enough to date, you were old enough to work and buy your own car. Well, I didn't have much of an opportunity to work back then. So I uh, we had a lot of uh, cedar trees on uh, that farm and uh, and sheep ranch that my dad had bought and, uh, when we moved there. So I uh, cut cedar posts and I uh, cut them for three cents a piece. And uh, I, uh, I I bought, I, I cut enough posts and when I sold them I had $186. If you can imagine how much shame, how many posts, uh, three cents a piece, it takes to add up to uh, $186. Well, that uh, I'll tell you how how uh, many posts I had to cut. Cutting posts ain't all that easy. You have to cut them, trim them, and haul them up and stack them. And then when you sell them, you got to help load them. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, uh, those cedar posts are hard, hard work. But anyway, uh, we, my dad... Uh, took off with me down to Waco and we bought myself a car. And so it ended up that uh, 
I never did take this Miss Pearl out, but uh, it ended up that I was probably, uh, well, I was the only one in uh, the whole high school that owned their own car. The rest of them, and I, I, we had bought by, via that little 34 Ford uh, coupe, and uh, man, I tooled around in that thing, and I was, I was, I was a real high roller, and uh, that was, uh, that was a pretty, pretty neat little car. It didn't have any heater. <laughs> uh, it get awful cold. And what we had a, 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 one of the worst snowstorms uh, in 1949. And uh, that thing. And uh, I w w took off to a movie. And uh, I didn't know it was going to get all that bad. So I had to light candles up there on the windshield on that thing to get back home to get uh, see through the ice and snow to keep it all melted off. <laughs> and anyway, that's my thoughts while thinking about uh, my days in high school. And uh, I, I had a great time there at Cranswell Gap, and it was a, a, a great deal. And, uh, uh, and I, all those experiences I had in California, you know, they were a big character building uh, things for me and so that's my wild thoughts while thinking about high school and my my years and uh and progressing through the all five schools you can take care and i'll see you on the flip side